I, Victor Frankenstein, am damned. My crimes will be recorded here so that all may know of the unending horror I have wrought. It is through this means that I give warning lest someone else be tempted to explore this most unholy path. Father, I have left instructions for this journal to be sent to you only after I am dead. It is fitting in a way that you should be the first to hear my tale. The demon has survived. Many months have passed since that dreadful night of terror, but still he remained before me mocking me and beckoning me to follow. We are fueled by the passions of our mutual hate, and he leads me daily, farther and farther to the everlasting ices of the North. We are in a region uninhabited by man, and I know that he has brought me here to share his loneliness and isolation. But the emptiness and bitter cold are fitting complement to my moral resolution. I am responsible for everything that he has done and cannot rest until he is destroyed. For he is my creation, and while he yet remains alive, I shall remain forever cursed. Read now, Father, of all that I have done. Do not bother to condemn me, for like a titan who aspired to omnipotence, I am already chained in an eternal hell. What's taking you so long? Thanks, sir. Hey! Oh, yes, sir. Just a few hours ago. Then the net is broken and he is useless to me. No, sir. I've been very specific with you about my needs, and once again you've done nothing more than waste my time. No, sir. No, sir. See for yourself, sir. Uh, is he all right, sir? Yes. It seems that you would have no feel for the time of the night. No, sir. Very well. Bring it just as quickly as you can. I must return to spend the evening with my family. How nice for you, sir. Yes, it is. Be careful you're not seen. Every one will be there for dinner. And the money, sir? It will be the same. As always. But, sir, this, this one is so fresh and healthy. What you're doing hardly qualifies you to make demands. But it would appear, sir, that you must make them. I can't risk being seen. Oh, we'll take care of you, sir, if you take care of us. Leave it in the usual place. The money will be waiting. Himself lost. We saw your light, hoped you might be able to give us some direction. Yes, I'm working late tonight. Herr. Herr. Uh, Henry Clerk. Herr Clerk. Convict's grave, you see. He was hanged this very day. It's been situated quick before the rot sets in. Sir. We're not alone. No, sir. Oh, just the, the three of us. <laughs> the three of us. <laughs> Please, I'm looking for the Chateau Frankenstein. I'm already quite late. The Chateau Frankenstein? Yes, do you know? Oh, we've had occasion to go there. Are you a uh, friend of young Herr Frankenstein? Yes, from the University of England. Ah. Uh, Chateau? Is it your mind? Yes. Now, what you're going to do is follow the road north to Geneva, perhaps, oh, Two kilometers. Take it and you will arrive at the chateau. Thank you. 
You've been of great service. Good night. Herr Clerval? Yes? Are you a religious man, sir? Why? Well, sir, I was hoping you could say a few words for the I think not. But, sir, should any man go to heaven unannounced? I think the smell alone should forewarn the mother's coming. <laughs> Yes, sir. Good night. Good night, sir. Travel safely. So close, Peter. <laughs> you gave him the wrong direction, Tox. Yes, I did. I looked at the plane for long enough. Let's pack up quickly and be going. Devil, are they? They're right behind me as I left in the dining room. 
Here they come now. I thought you might have tried to get away from me. You know what they say about it. Old friend. Beautiful lines. Oh, like, behave yourself. The very thought that I would ever dream of such a thing. Yes, yes. Victor? Yes, Mom? We have a surprise for you. What is it? I'm assembly passing by. Yes, I'm sure. Right, it is good to see you again. Do you, my friend? It's been much too long. Yes, Henry. Elizabeth. Beautiful Elizabeth, it's been much too long since I've seen you too. Yes, Henry has. Much has happened since I last wrote to you. Yes, there's much I want to tell you too, Henry. My, it is good to see you again. Herr Clarence said that you were not expecting him. No, no, I was not. Henry, what the devil are you two here? Whoa. You see how it is? We finally managed to persuade him away from his work for even a single night when even stronger competition arise. Competition indeed. There were times at school when it was all we could do to stop his unrelenting ravings on your behalf. You embarrass me, sir. Ravings indeed. I've hardly spoken to you, Elizabeth. Oh, Victor, does that mean you never spoke about Elizabeth? You ought to be ashamed. Well, occasionally. That is to say, often enough. Oh, give it, Victor. You only mind yourself more tightly with each and every word. <laughs> uh, Frau Mueller, may I offer you a little sherry? Yes. And Lionel, some brandy? Yes, please. Excellent dinner, by the way, Alphonse. Wasn't it, my dear? Yes, very good. I thought the leg of lamb special was excellent. Although, I thought the potatoes would use a bit more. Thank you. I'm Thank sorry that we have to leave early, but we promised William a story. Oh, of course not. I only wish that I had joined you for these two kids to chatter today. <laughs> Alphonse and I chatter. Nonsense. Why, we were only discussing the man we had to hang this afternoon. Buried him just before coming here. You buried him this afternoon, Edward? Yes, you are correct. Immediately after we had cut him down. It was a funny thing. The knot had worked itself loose. So instead of the neck snapping cleanly as it should have, the poor beggar wound up choking to death on his own tongue. Why don't please? We could do without these grisly details. You talked about yourself, Amelia. Yes, placed it firmly below the skull. Why? Victor, please. Yes, sorry, Herr Clerk, you have arrived, you know, at a most fortuitous time. From you, Lionel. I've invited you here today to confirm what everyone else has long suspected. That Victor and Elizabeth. I'll be married! Much happiness, Elizabeth. Congratulations to both of you. Thank you. I'm so glad that the two of you have finally decided. You must set a date, my dear, and you must wait too long. Do not allow time to change his mind. <laughs> a toast. A toast to the house of Frankenstein. The great joy of its father the loving memory of its mother, the happiness of its children, and the bright promise of its future. The House of Frankenstein. Get in here! What? what are you doing here? Nothing, sir. We just... What have you done out there? We have business. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I forgot. Well, gentlemen, we meet again, eh? Met these men before, Air Clerval? Yes, on the road there. They they gave me directions to the chateau. Oh, you did, sir. Yes. Air Victor, not that business. What business do you have at this time of night? Uh, something, something for Air Victor, sir. Yes, sir. It's concerned something very <laughs> well, surely it can wait until tomorrow. Oh, no, sir. I don't think we'll keep that long. <laughs> what is it that you brought? It is certain to be of use to me. And you. Come, gentlemen. Victor, this is most distressing. I'm sorry, Father. It appears to be most urgent. We'll return shortly. All right. Gentlemen. Good evening, all. Ladies. 
sort of person that will work for him. Well, the villagers think Victor a little mad. No, no, my dear. No, no. Do not protest, Lionel. I've heard the rumors. But, sir, what exactly is it that he's doing? That's just it, Henry. We know nothing of the nature of his work. He's told you nothing. No. That is why I wrote to you and asked if you would come. He's changed, Henry. He's... He's not the man we used to know. When did he begin to change? Shortly after he returned from Ingolstadt. He began by transforming the tower room into a laboratory where he could work without disturbance. And then he started ordering all sorts of equipment and machinery which he had delivered in the oddest hours of the night. Yes. Then he began hiring villagers to construct that enormous wheel beneath the tower. The dynamo. A lot. The wheel. It's a technique for producing electricity. What the devil is going on up there? That infernal machinery of his. What's he up to? As you can see, Henry, he leaves us in the dark. I hardly find this amusing, Elizabeth. It's the very sort of thing that happens constantly. Oh, my lord, perhaps it's time we should be going. Oh, no, please. Yes, I think perhaps we should. We do appear to be in for quite a storm. Besides, the children will be waiting up for us. Why, the half of the sets go to bed no matter how tired they may get. Well, I'm sorry the evening should have to end this way. No matter how far. It is always a pleasure to you. Elizabeth, much happiness. Air pleasure a pleasure. You come see me now, Elizabeth. You have much planning to do, and I shall only be too happy to help. Now, come, let me see you out. Watch out for her, my friend, or else she might take you over quickly. <laughs> Good night, my Good night. Good night. Good night. I had no idea things were this extreme. Yes, Henry, it's worked each passing day. That is why I wrote to you. I thought perhaps you and his best friend could. I will see to it, Elizabeth. Thank you. Is everyone gone? Yes. You know, Victor, I envy you. She's every bit the delightful and charming creature I remember. If you persist in embarrassing me, sir, I shall be forced to take my leave. Besides, I promised William I'd tuck him in. I'm sure you'll survive without me. How shall we survive when all the light is left in the room? There, you see, he's managed to do it again. Good night, Lord. Good night, dear Elizabeth. Do not worry about your victor. I promise not to keep him up too long. <laughs> I'm sure I'll leave him, Henry, in the safest possible hands. Good night. Good night. Well, Victor? Well, Henry. Waiting for an explanation. What do you mean? Those two men? No, Henry, they were merely. Was the body very damaged? No. My God, Victor, what are you doing? Your oath, Henry, to repeat nothing I'm about to say to you. You have it. Say it. I will repeat nothing I'm about to hear, sir. Satisfactory? Please, Henry, spare me your sarcasm. You are the only one who understands my fascination with the sciences. Yes, I'm well acquainted with your interests, but get to the point. Henry, I have reason to believe that I am capable of reanimating life. This is what consumes you. Th this ridiculous adult pursuit of eternal life? No, not eternal life, but rather the recreation of life. But Victor, Now I hear me out. At school, I came across the works of Bolos, the Egyptian. The Muslim Jabir, Albert Magnus, Roger Bacon, Perikels, alchemists, magicians, good God, scientists, philosophers, perhaps magicians, regardless. I decided to study nature, to inquire into its secrets, into its very structures. I saw how the fine form of man was wasted and degraded. I saw the corruption of death succeed to the bloom of life. I saw how the worm inherited the wonders of the eye and the brain and heart. I examined and analyzed every detail of the change from life to death, until finally I succeeded in discovering the very cause of life itself. Do you expect me to believe this nonsense? That and more. I expect you to help me in my project. In what way? What project? 
the creation of life. And a man. You actually believe this? I had in my laboratory the intelligent brain of one man and the healthy heart of another, kept alive by means of induction through chemicals for well beyond the week. Good Lord. I've only been awaiting the proper vessel in which they were to be implanted. <coughs> that was just delivered to me here tonight. The only struggle that remains is the completion of the surgery before the storm begins to reach its peak. And to this, you can help. No, Victor, I will have no part. Think, Henry, think. To have control of life and death. To have to remove disease forever from the human frame. To ensure eternally the existence of the greatest minds. To do you aspire then to be a god? God? Yes. That thought had never even occurred to me. What of the soul, Victor? The body is but the keeper of the soul, and death releases it to heaven. And proctors of this soul will have knowledge disregarded and truth pronounced miracles. Mysteries were made to be solved, my friend. You taught me that. And Henry, I would have to see this soul before I can be included in my studies. I am no atheist, no blasphemer, but merely a scientist, desiring to understand the secrets of life, perhaps, therefore, of God. Prometheus. What? Prometheus was punished by the gods for bringing fire down to man. Prometheus was a fool. The gods were jealous, greedy, and possessive. So you're certain that you can do this, then? Yes. Even if I believed what you've told me, I'm overwhelmed. I believe you to be a great man, brilliant scientist, capable of anything. My god, it's fascinating. It is more than fascinating. It is true. Come, my friend, see the wonders of which I speak. Join me in this enterprise. If on further study you choose to disagree, well, that is up to you. Meanwhile, time is precious and there is much that must be done. So you're sure I will help you then? I have no doubt of it. No doubt at all. Come. Prometheus was bound to a rock, you know. Perhaps, my friend. Together we shall release you. Come.
read this thing. <coughs> the temporary motion of a paralytic limb is likewise caused by passing an electric shock wave, which would seem to indicate some analogy between the nervous fluid and the electric fluid, which is separated from the blood by the brain and thence diffused along the nerves for purposes of motion and sensation. Do you see? No. <coughs> if a minor shock produces convulsive movement, might not a greater shock produce continued animation? Well, yes, but... Or... Or... Or carry to extremes. Reactivated dormant heart. Who knows? My God. Perhaps it is every man's God. May be possible. It just may be. Quick, me, Henry, bring down the chain. Shall I connect? Yes. The stream is rushing from the floor. The wheel is turning well with plenty of power. Victor? Victor? Yes, Elizabeth, what is it? Victor, please let me in. Victor, you must not. No, it's too late. <coughs> Victor, please. Days. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, I cannot. Victor, you've been here since you left last night. The primary first. Have you lost all track of time? Not the other. Henry, Henry, are you there? Please, Henry, you promised me your help. Please, Elizabeth, leave us. Can you feel it? The excitement, the power. This is the supreme instant. This is the culmination of my work. We stand at the threshold of a new age of man. The dawn of a new species who are blessed as their creator. I'm not so certain that. Begin the sequence, Henry, for the moment of truth is upon us.
owe them all an explanation, especially your father. And believe me, this storm is nothing compared to what we can expect from him. I'm sure. I'm afraid I'll think I've gone crazy too. I'm not so certain that I haven't. You will steal yourself and let us rejoin at least for the night. The current family is met.
He's handsome in. Who are you? Yes, friend. Friend. 
No! No! I, I know you! Find it, sign. We... Those bodies haunt! What did you do to him? You were dead! Dead? Frankenstein! Frankenstein! Oh! Please, Frankenstein! Don't hurt me! Tell me! I, I, I don't know! I, I, Thank <laughs> you. 
have to make you sorry. They hurt me. They called me dead. And the others that... Others saw you? Yes. Where did this all happen? I am not as other men. I have memories. Pain. The people hurt you? Tell me exactly what it was that happened. My thoughts I do not understand. Where were you when you met these men? Pain. Here. When they said my name, did they? And here. Answer me. What did they I, Answer me. I. No more. You must understand what I I understand struggling. nothing. You can tell me. Tell me now! Very well, last your question. Have a one. What do you know of me? Nothing. Do I, not lie to me, Frankenstein. What are you? I am your creator! You, that is your body, was at one time dead. Dead? Creator? Yes. I needed materials for my work. In the book of God. You know the Bible? I know the Creator. You are my Creator. And thus, my God. No. No, I am not God. You are my Creator. Yes, but there is only one God. I am not God. God is the creator. Yes, but I am not God. Did you not create me? Yes. No. <laughs> did you then lie to me? No, I did not. Creator? God. I am not God. My father, you must have left him in the water. I'll have him quickly in the garden. Elizabeth, quickly, you must hide. Hurry, make no sound! Quickly! Or I will tell you nothing more. I will wait.
child. I did not mean to, but he screamed like all the others. Oh my God! What have you done? What have we done, little creator? <laughs> I am not responsible for you. Would you give me what I asked? No. Listen to me. I took a chain that the child had been wearing. Later on, I found a woman resting in a barn. Her beauty touched me. I was moved to leave it with her as a gift. But I can get it back from her just as I got it from the child. Do you understand? Yes. I will do as you demand. Tomorrow, we shall begin. And do not betray me, O Creator, for we are bound by ties that can never be in them. Except by death. Victor! Victor! What is it? Victor, of my friends. What is it? It's William. He is dead. Murdered. Victor, is there anything I can do? No. Nothing can help me now, Henry. Nothing. I've killed my brother. Victor. I know the shock is great, but it's blatant. It is true, Henry. It is true. I am responsible. But how could you be responsible for this? Listen to me, Henry. That being that we created, that thing that ran through here that night, it has survived. No. It is true, Henry. It is true. It is he who was killed, will you? But how can you be sure? He told me, Henry. He told me. That both of us are responsible for his death. It is I, there we were. Mr. Say nothing until we've had time to think. Come in, sir. <coughs>
believe me, I could not have done what you said. I loved William Miss. I could never have done anything. Amelia, this is impossible. She would have never hurt the boy. She was like a member of the family. I understand your feelings, Aunt Clerval, although this would not be the first time that a servant has turned against a member of the family. A locket such as this would bring a good price in certain circles. Please, please tell me everything that has happened. Please. William and I were on a picnic. We sought to go on to take a nap and I was next to waiting by Herr Mueller. And his men, that is all that I know. We found the locket hidden in her skirt. Surely that cannot be enough. I think they will find it sufficient enough to convict her. And if they do, she will be condemned. No, Victor. Victor, say something, please. You must believe that I am innocent. I am sorry to have to do this, although I am afraid I have no other choice. No, Victor, say something, please! Please say something! Take her away. Daily do I bring you books. I have of necessity. 
because they taught you something of the sciences so that you could assist me in this endeavor. You speak, you see, you breathe, you move, you think. You've taken the life of my brother. What more is there that you can ask of me? There's much to ask of you, O Creator, as any child asks of his parents. Enough. There will be no more talk. There's work that must be done. Why this work? Because you have forced me to it. No. Why me? Why did you do this to me? Why did you create a being that even you turn away from in disgust? I've read your notes while here alone. I read of potions, solutions, incisions, but I find nothing that can tell me why. I am most confused. You are damned. If I am damned for being alive, how damned are those brought about my being? Enough. There will be no more talk. I want you out of my sight and out of the lives of those I love. I cannot finish here soon enough to save me, for then I will be rid of both you and your despicable companion. I'll hear no more of this. Do you threaten me again? It grows tires. We have made a bargain. I will honor it. We must make sure that everything is working before the storm begins to reach its peak. Judging. No, Henry, 
you doing here? Victor really shouldn't be here, you know. Yes, I know. Um, would you excuse us for a moment, Frau Mueller? Well, all right. But don't be too long. Yes, I know. Really. Victor, you really shouldn't be here. It's bad luck, you know. How very beautiful you are. Bad luck indeed. They do say that, you know. Who? I love you, Elizabeth. And I love you. Do you? Really? Yes. Yes. And every day I love you more.
Here I fly. The future is the only thing that matters to me. Come along, you two. The guests are waiting. It's time. Oh, come along now. Plenty of time for all that later. Oh, Victor. I nearly got off without my hair. Victor. Well, Frankenstein. 
I've destroyed you and everything you've ever loved. I shall not die as you are dead, who called me to be. And when we are gone, the memory of us shall quickly be. For we'll be at last bound together, forever alone. Instruments of life become instruments of death. <laughs>